Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, or may know, um, I've done quite a few pencil projects. And I haven't done one for quite a while. So I thought today I would do a pencil project for you. This one is kind of something that I've been wanting to do for a little while. Uh, I have been inspired by many other makers, including Heath Knuckles, my good old buddy from across the pond. And also Bobby Duke, also across the pond, I think. These are really cool makers, and I was lucky enough to hang out with these guys a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and we got chatting, obviously, about some of the things that they make and some of the things that I make. I had this idea of a project uh, which is based around another sphere, which Heath Knuckles does quite a few of. Um, I've done some pencil projects, Bobby Duke has done some pencil projects, so I kind of wanted to incorporate something that I do, that Heath does, and a little hint of Bobby in there as well. I was chatting to Bobby about kind of the project that I kind of have, and he gave me a few kind of ideas as well about how to funk it up even more. And I just love funky stuff, as you know. So I hope you like this video, I will try and keep it short and sweet. I'm hoping it's going to turn out to the way I've got it, I've got this kind of vision of how it's going to look. I really do hope it's going to work. So let's get to it. Derek. Okay, so we filled these with tiny, tiny pencils. But that's not finished. What I wanna try to create is a little bit of a different effect inside here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this with resin, but before I do that, I wanna try and move some of these pencils out like this so that they stick in different areas like that and like that, like this. So I kind of want it to be a little bit funky looking and have a few of these sticking out in different areas. But obviously it's not going to stay like that unless I glue it. So I'm going to put a little bit of dab of super glue in here. But I think I want the center one coming out the most like that. So the idea is we get some sort of effect like this with all of these sticking out. And then we do the same with this one. And then we put them together like this. And ideally, this centerpiece will be filled with resin. And then we can make a really cool sphere. So that's kind of what I had in mind. So you've got all the pencils kind of like coming out, like they're sort of just projecting themselves out of there. So the idea now is to set both of these um, in resin singly, just like that, so that they're all kind of secure. And then what we need to then do is then take them out and try and build a mold for these to both sit into. 
and ideally we want them to be sat kind of like that if we can let's see how we get on Now it is really important to mix your resin thoroughly. It does take quite a while to get a good mix. If you don't mix it properly, it just won't work. Now for this I'm going to be using my new pressure pot and this is an absolute beast. Look at the size of this thing. Sprayequipment.co.uk That's where you go if you want to get one of these. So this is an upgrade from my other one. There's my other one there. You see the difference? So um, because it's a little bit fiddly, can't get both of them in there properly. So I'm going to use this. So we're having to make a mould uh, for this um, project. So uh, there's the first end. So I've cut a circle out of this chopping board here and I've just glued all that in there. And the idea really is to try and keep a little bit open here so we can pour the resin in because we want both of these pieces. So we want both of these to go on this side and we want that one that side. Resin ready. Let's hope this hole melts up.
sanded this down now for quite some time. Started on about 60 grit. So I'm just about to apply a thousand grit and I'm gonna do this with my wet and dry. Well that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, that's kind of my thoughts behind this kind of project, the pencil sphere. So I've had this idea in my head for quite a while, especially after watching Heath, you know, do a lot of his spheres and things like that. That looks really cool. And I thought to myself, you know what, I do a lot of pencil projects, I have done a lot of pencil projects. Why not do one with pencils in a sphere? So uh, that's what I thought I would do. It's been, as I say, hanging around in my head for ages. Just never really got around to kind of doing it because I've never really done a sphere before. Um, and obviously after working with Heath and doing that little one that we did uh, a few weeks back now or last week, whenever this video goes out, Heath gave me a few, some pointers of what to do. I thought I'd give it a go. It's not quite round, um, almost, almost, but I had a few issues had a few chips that came off, um, but uh, you know, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's almost there. You can just see the through. The pencil sphere. Looks kind of 3D-ish. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so it's sort of got a bit of a 3D effect inside there, which kind of looks sort of funky. That looks kind of cool. I think it's kind of turned out almost how I had it in my head. Um, there is a few errors in there, but overall, I don't think it's that bad. Well, of course, it's up to you to decide. I'll get some pictures up at the end so you can see a little bit in the detail. You can see a little bit more of the detail of this project. Well, that's it. I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that attended Makers Central. I've been banging on about it for absolutely ages and it was a fantastic event. It turned out really, really well. We had nearly 6,000 people show up for the show and it was absolutely spectacular. It was really cool and I think the feedback that we've received from everybody has been absolutely amazing. So thanks if you're one of those that came down or contributed or helped out create this show it was pretty cool uh, there is loads of footage all over the, the YouTube from makers um, putting their vlogs up I haven't done mine yet well actually that's tell a lie you may have already seen that yet because I don't know when I'm gonna actually put this video up but I made a little vlog uh, it's just one vlog just a, an overview of the event and how it went it was pretty cool there were some really great people there and some really cool demos Still debating or not whether or not to put this show on again for Maker Central 2019. We may do, but it's not officially announced yet. But you'll definitely be the first to know. If you haven't seen the prize draw results, they're up on the Maker Central uh, Facebook page, and we did a Maker Central video as well for some of the some of the little sticker boards that we did that we had there. There's a few of those that we've given away as well. We will be giving away a few more of those, but we're just going to think about how we want to do that. But it was a really, really cool show. So thanks so much for everyone's support. I'm kind of disappointed a bit that it's over because I had such a great time, met so many really great people. Spent loads of time with some really cool makers from all over the world. Um, as you've probably seen already, we've probably put a few videos up. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit lonely. So guys, come on back over because I miss you, please. If not, we're gonna have to wait to make a central 2019 if we do it of course. But thanks to everyone again that showed up. I can't thank you enough really because opening that door to the first day on a Saturday and the floods and floods of people swarming in. The queue was like right back outside the NEC, back into a, another empty hall, back out <laughs> and then into uh, and then outside our uh, hall. All the other events that were going on that day were complaining to the NEC because they couldn't get their customers in. <laughs> this is kind of a little bit funny. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button also. And what really does help is if you could share the video, if you're feeling kind of extra generous, of course. So that's it. I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers that have come over to the channel, and obviously I couldn't have got this far without all of you sticking around. So thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over, and obviously thanks to all my old ones for sticking around. Take care.